Kia ora guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel and today, guys, we are going to a vintage store. We are going a trip to the thrift. We are doing all that stuff. You know, videos have been done so many times and I'm gonna be doing it too. But today's a little bit different anyway because today is my kind of first collaboration video slash hangout slash making friends slash socializing so today guys i'm going to be going to london's thrift stores with the bro geo do make sure you check out his video because he's doing kind of his kind of viewpoint and the items that he picked up as well also you can check out the bro at only geo for instagram as well he like puts up like mad fire fits and stuff like that boom i'll just put it there for you so you can kind of see a little bit of it now oh i had a coffee before so if you're wondering why the energy and stuff is a bit kind of there yeah i had a coffee and now it's kind of hit but anyway, so guys, here's the bag of items that I picked up. Before I showcase you these items, let's actually see how I picked these up and the whole kind of nice day that Gio and I had hanging out. Oh my God. Note to self, don't have coffee before the start of a video intro. Yeah, let's go. Right, guys so we just made it to shortage and yes you've seen it we here with the bro geo so bro good tell them what are we doing today man basically we're gonna go hit up some of the best or well, in my opinion the best vintage stores in probably in london but the only thing is it's like 50 gamble we don't know what's stopped in there but i feel like there should be some heat so it should be all good yeah, yeah we got we should this. definitely find something so. quickly though yeah. bro come on man break down that fit bro the fit <laughs> All right, so I've got the six, the six pound Berkshire beanie on. I've got the ASOS ice gray long coat, just a plain gray H&M hoodie, gray Izumiyaki pleated trousers, and the uh, off-white Presto. Man's so flexing on us. Bo's got his tones on point here, guys. And as you saw, like, he's got stuff from Bershka, from H&M, and then he still mixes it up. You know, he's got the shoes, everything. It's not always about... It's not always about those high-end brands and stuff, and that's even why we're going like thrifting today to show you kind of the steals you can get without spending too much. So, let's get it. Guys, we just came into the store. Uh, it's a big store, it's a mad vibe, and yeah, so I'll show you around first and then we'll get into the pieces. Let's go. I am no guy, a king at the most, I just wait for my ride. A piece off the leash to invest in some time with a hell of a grind. See, these hoes are not yours, and these hoes are not mine. Rolly bust down, guess it happened on time. Believe in my nigga, I knew we were gonna shine. Shout out to my dog. Who invested some time I'm one of a kind But still on my grind Don't start it or stop it Drew Brees in my pocket My bitch she's on tropic Pull up in that op These bitches can't stop it We want it, we cop it On IG I'm trending My name is the topic Pull up in that all shit He bugging, we off My flow I be on it Don't see no components R.I.P. to L.A. They know I component They know I be on it They said numbers don't lie Including exponents My niggas got In my mind I'm thinking Brown is kind of something that I want to start to add into my wardrobe a little bit more and then something like a bit more I don't know like corduroy is definitely a vibe um, And then I want to kind of see what like wide leg pant, pants wide leg pants and stuff that they've got too. So Let's get into finding some pieces, eh? See already guys that is kind of a vibe. It's coming off way greener than it actually is because the lights around here that's actually pretty decent, eh? Damn, it's like a nice like bomber jacket. It's heavy, man. Man, I was literally saying the other day that I would want to kind of mess with, maybe not that, but a brown leather jacket. So recently, guys, I've been really 
messing with like leather jackets a lot more. Um, and a brown one is something I kind of want to get into. I saw this awesome one, I think it was um, styled with um, like Rick Owens and stuff, and it was just a mad vibe. This like black pants, uh, it was a black tuna neck, and then it's like really nice brown leather jacket, and it was a vibe. So I'm gonna keep my eye open for something like that. So that's the type of brown I'm after, but you know, not like a big ass coat. You guys know, corduroys, well, you actually might not know, but I really miss with corduroy pants. I think they're a vibe, especially for 2019. Crazy, crazy fit. Quality is crazy, and these are only 30 pounds. Jeez, look what he found. I have a few of them. Like oh, damn. Man, this has got you sussed for winter, guys. <laughs> 30 pounds, but some I'm nice fit. wide leg. So guys, when I kind of like come to like vintage stores and like thrift stores and stuff like that, like I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like find some like big ass brand and you know, cop it because of the brand. When I come in, it's more about like, I'm trying to find some sick pieces. It's pieces over brands. Like obviously I keep the brand in mind a little bit. For example, if I see something from like Kaha or something like that, then I know, cool, it's going to be a good quality or something like Dickies, I know it's going to be a good quality, but I'm not into trying because I'm not trying to like flip anything or anything like that. I'm not searching for the brand. I'm searching for like a piece that will look like dope. So yeah, that's kind of that's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, obviously not for me, but for you girls out there, that's a pretty sick ass cropped sweatshirt. This is like. This Columbia. I feel like yellow and grey goes quite sick. Yeah. Pretty much like you've got here, so you've got your kind of like old school like ski jacket stuff like that. Your Columbia, you've got some North Face stuff like, and then you pick up, you know, pieces like these like, that's to me, is it's, it's such a nice vibe and because of the grey on top like, I mean it's still loud but it's, it's not overwhelming and what's the price tag at bro? This is 55, so a bit steep but there is ones that are 30, some are like, 30, I would say they vary from like 30 to 55 pounds so you know, you kind of want to try and find the ones for 30 but if you do fall in love with the piece, I don't know, it's up to you guys And guys, the other thing is as well, in London, like, thrift stores are quite overpriced It's not the same as like, if you go to like, I don't know, your little I don't even know what I'm thinking. But in your own little town place, like, you know, you can get some really good steals and you can, we can still find some dope pieces here, but you will be paying a little bit more. No lie, bro, guys. I kind of feel this, eh? All right, guys, so this is it. Now, there's a little bit to it. So the sleeves are actually, like, quite cropped and you still got the length here at the bottom now. I like it, like I love the colours that's going on, I kind of do love that kind of whole like Aztec print and stuff, especially for winter. Now, again they had this in, I think it was like £50 and now it's £30 and like this is, this is going to keep you warm. They've got that nice quilted padding on the inside as well and I don't know guys, let me know. I, I'm feeling this right now, like to me yeah, this it's is cold. I don't know, what do you think Bo? No, nah, it's sick, it, it does look nice man, it suits you well as well. And it so, don't look that, even though the sleeves are cropped, because you've got like a layer underneath it, don't actually look that bad. I don't know what it looks like if I did. Even if you put like a few bracelets on, you can kind of yeah. get away with it sometimes. I like though how it kind of gives, it like makes it kind of unique. Like you, you're not going to buy one of these anywhere. Yeah. Here, like no one else is going to make it. Let me know guys, what do you think? But so far, so good. So I just grabbed this, that varsity jacket. Now, I love I love the colours, I love kind of the cropness to it and stuff. Problem is, I think it's too too small. Like, that's seen it. It's because you're too hench, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I love the colours, eh? Like, guys, I don't know, this is like solid leather. Yeah, yeah, like, that's sick, this is man. nice. Like, I mean, it's a bit grubby and stuff. Someone's been wiping their chocolate milk on their sleeve, but. <laughs> but it's. Oh, guys, I like it. Now they're asking for 55, so I don't know about that. But you gotta love it for that price, isn't it? These two jackets, I absolutely love. So I've just put on the Aztec one again, as you see. Here it is. Like, I know this one. The, what I like about this one is it's a bit more out there. Uh, it's definitely got those winter vibes and stuff. And then we do have. Oh, I like that one. It looks so cool. Like it's cropped. It's everything. It's you know. It's got life. Like it's been through some. It's yeah. Been like through some here's stuff, the man. detail, guys. In this, like. 
know, it might be, is it both? Do I just get both and I leave it there and that, that's all I get? I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see. The other thing guys that we were just talking about is that when you, when you go shopping no matter what, even if the prices are great and things like that, you gotta ask yourself, am I gonna wear this? Am I gonna wear this in six months? Or is it just gonna be a one-time thing? Like, the good thing about when you're vintage shopping is that you're paying kind of cheaper, so if you don't end up wearing it, oh, oh it's a vibe. <laughs> oh man, Gio's just coming, he's distracted me. This is mad. Feel this, you gotta feel this, bro. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, that is, that is nice, man. 34 pounds. Just got done outside Atika. Now, boom, I picked up my pieces. Gio's got his. Now, I think we're just gonna grab a bite to eat. Um, now, make sure you do go to his channel because he's gonna showcase car. All right, he's gonna showcase his pieces. I'm gonna showcase mine on mine and with, I don't know, on body stuff and whatnot. Probably like break them down a little bit more. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, probably when we get home, innit? Just gonna show the pieces, yeah. give that proper full fit. And that's it guys, today it was a lot more low key, it was a lot more casual and that's kind of what the vibe that we both went for. It wasn't a challenge, it was nothing like that, it was just our experience going to a vintage store in London. Um, both picked up two pieces and we're thinking next time we want to do like a challenge like for example, it doesn't have to just be a vintage store but like 50 pounds a uni clothes or something like that. That's kind of like the vibe that we're thinking so let us both know in the comment section below and guys do make sure that you go check out Gio's channel. You know I rated it in uh, one of my, in the top five YouTubers that I watch so yeah get on it and I think it's time for us to get a feed. And we're back guys just like that so I kind of hope you like that whole kind of almost like yeah, pretty much a vlog style that uh, Gio and I both did. Like I said, do make sure to check out his channel because he picked up two fire pieces that I'm kind of like mad jealous of. So hopefully uh, the next time we hang out, I can kind of like rack some from him. Uh, two pieces I picked up, guys. You saw them. I think you'll all mess with this one. I think like on a whole, all of you will uh, dig the bomber jacket. I really do dig this bomber jacket. I'm looking at it in the camera right now and I'm just still like really, really gassed about it. And the second one that I feel maybe 20% of you will like it <laughs> and the other 80% of you will unsubscribe. Um, I don't blame you. No, I love this piece guys and the thing again about fashion is it's so personal It's so individual and yeah, like you just got to remember the whole like thing that I try to tell you guys is wear what you want to wear Like what you want to like uh, things like that. I do like this kind of like Aztec print um, And yeah, there's that one too. So Let's jump to an on body so you can see how I style uh, these two items that I picked up. And there we have it guys, I hope that you did like today's video, very different, uh, you know, collaborating a bit more, going out into a bit of a vlog mode and going to the thrift store as well. Also guys, I want you to leave two comments down below, one, let me know did you like both of the items and which was your favorite? I can kind of guess which one it will be. And also let me know who else should I collaborate with because this year is going to be a year of kind of collaborating because I want to bring you guys a lot more content and a lot more different viewpoints and other people's outlooks on the whole men's fashion scene. And actually with even saying that, it doesn't even have to be guys. It's not just about the men's fashion scene, it's about fashion overall. So let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that guys, if you did like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell icon, and if you want to keep up with me on the daily come follow me on instagram which is at on daniel simmons so it is guys i'll get back to doing you enjoy the rest of your day keep dressing well and i'll see you fellas next time peace Ooh. that was just too much coffee
Tschüss.